Hey YouTube, more bullshit. My name is Eve the Weed. Please like, share, and subscribe. A bodega charge with murder after stabbing a man who allegedly attacked him because his girlfriend's EP to EPT card declined. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. This man got to go to jail because he was attacked by somebody that came in the store trying to use EPT. Now, we just talked about the girls with the restaurant and everything, destroying that restaurant. And now we're here to talk about more ghetto ratchetness. Because this is ratchet too. Here's the thing. Now, all Medicaid cards or EPT cards, they all Medicaid cards. They have this thing on the back called a 1-800 number. Now, her card declined because she spent all the money off of it and she didn't know how much she had on here. All she had to do was call the back of the card and type in her security code and they would have just told her how much was actually on her card. But the boy attacks the bodega worker and now the bodega worker is behind bars because he defended himself. Here's the thing. We just watched a whole person get shot in the bodega a couple of videos ago because he was being attacked by somebody off the street and he came in there in the pharmacy, a rapper, to use, to, you know, come in there and collect whatever he was in there collecting from the pharmacy. And then they tried to basically rob him and then they shot him inside of the pharmacy, right? So could you please tell me why this is self-defense. This man might get off. Because look at the video. He pushed him. He, first of all, he's behind the counter. The young man in the white shirt. He's behind the counter threatening the man. No, this video does not have audio. So I'm trying to describe it the best way I know how. Now, he looking like Trey Songz from the back with the cornrows. Now, you see how he jerked the man back. Now he pushes him. Now, I believe the man still has the EPT key card in his hand. He still got it in his hand. See? Because you can see it right there. Bing bong. In his hand. Now, the girl, instead of going behind the counter to get her man or whoever this is to her, she's trying to pull him from behind the counter and that's her hand. Notice how this little heifer is not on camera, but her man and the guy that he assaulted is on camera. Yeah, because I feel like you could have did a better job with getting your man. No, we cannot control men as women, but certain situations you can control. Now, we still see him pushing the man, pushing the man, pushing the man. It's craziness. It's craziness. He talking mess to her. She telling him, come on, come on, come on. I'm eluding because I'm not there. And he's still doing what he's doing to the man. It, this doesn't make any sense. What the fuck you say, motherfucker? What the fuck you say? Yeah, yeah, I'm just alluding to what I think he's saying because you know, I don't know where this bodeg is at, but I'm a uh, looks like New York City to me. I'm not gonna assume no, but it looks crazy. First of all, what he was already doing back then. Yes, that is the card he still has in his hand. It's craziness. This man is probably going to get off for self-defense because thank God there's a whole video. Tell me what y'all think about it in the comments section. I got to go later.